guys, it's your girl Tina. I have a store that's coming from Minnesota. Once again, these Minnesota maniacs are out on the loose. So what's going on now in Minnesota, you ask? What's going on is that you have a 22-year-old woman. Her name is Rachel Downer. And what had happened is, I've been keeping up with this story, a little girl was found frozen to death outside her house. She's a six-year-old girl. Her name is Mercedes Mayfield. So she was found frozen to death, and they were trying to piece together the story. They had arrested this woman last week, and she just got out on bond. So now it's coming out. She's saying that what happened is that basically she had went over to Mercedes' mother's house, which is her aunt. She had had dinner over there with her. Mercedes' mother had gotten hurt at work early that day, and she had to take some pain medicines. And if any of you guys take pain medicine, you guys know it makes you drowsy, you got to go to sleep, and you can't watch your kids. And Rachel had agreed to watch both the kids. So apparently, Rachel decides to change her mind without letting the woman know. And so she goes to leave. She has Mercedes help bring down stuff to the car. She says that she assumed that Mercedes, the six-year-old, lightly kept the door ajar so she wouldn't lock herself out the house. So Mercedes, the six-year-old, helps bring stuff to the car. And then the woman just drives off. Doesn't walk Mercedes back into the house. Doesn't tell the mother that she's leaving. Doesn't do anything. She just drives off and assumes that Mercedes went back in the house. The mother wakes up the next day. And she's kind of upset because she doesn't see her daughter there. And she's calling her niece like, you know, where's my daughter at? She had school the next day. Why would you, you know, take off with her and not tell me? And Rachel is telling her, well, I don't have her. You know, I left her at the house there. The mother looks outside her window and finds her daughter outside frozen to death. The temperature in Minnesota has been brutally cold this winter. As you guys know, I've been tweeting about it on Twitter. And that night, it ended up being negative 30 degrees. This poor child froze to death. And now Rachel is talking to the media supposedly about what happened. I want y'all to check out this video. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys the video and I'll come back with what I think about with this the video. death of her six-year-old cousin and after being released from jail today Rachel Downer talked only with Five Eyewitness News about the final hours of Mercedes Mayfield's life. The little girl froze to death on February 27th outside her Bemidji home. The temperature that night was dangerously cold, 19 below zero. With the wind chill it felt even worse, 32 below zero. Five Eyewitness News reporter Beth McDonough asked Downer the questions we've all been asking. Here's her exclusive report. Tell us a good memory about her. Sadie's, that's why everybody called her. Sadie's. She is Mercedes Mayfield, Rachel Downer's cousin. I'm hurt right now. I'm just going through it tough right now. Yeah, yeah. It's like my whole life has been took away from me. Because it is. The last night of Mercedes' life, Downer visited this Bemidji apartment complex to have dinner with her family and babysit Sadie, whose mother needed rest after suffering an injury at work. In court records, Downer said she planned to take Mercedes and her own child back to her place. At the last minute, she changed her mind. The problem is, she didn't tell anyone. From the criminal complaint, it says Mercedes helped you carry things to your car and then you watched her enter the building. I'm not going to talk about that right now. Why not? People really want to know what happened. I understand that, but from my point of view, it's like, it's best I'm going to leave that up to them and let them talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. What time was it at night when you say you saw Mercedes go back to the building? Actually, can y'all leave now? Because I don't say what I had to say. Downer says she thought Mercedes had kept the door from closing tightly so she wouldn't be locked out. This neighbor shows us how it works. I mean, you, you push the button. And it makes a loud noise in the apartment. On this side, you can't open the door with the buzzer that way, but you know that somebody is at the door. Mercedes' mom woke up the next morning panicked when she realized her daughter wasn't inside. A glance out the window broke her heart. Police say she found Mercedes curled up, frozen to death, on the front step. Downer faces the most serious of criminal charges, manslaughter and child neglect. Both are felonies. If convicted, she faces 10 years in prison. In Bemidji, Beth McDonough, 5 Eyewitness News. Okay, so you guys just watched the video and a lot of things bothered me with the video. I'm not feeling Rachel's attitudinal stance. You don't invite the media to your home to basically defend yourself and then when they start asking you questions, you have an attitude and you don't want to respond back to their questions and then you call yourself kicking them out the house. This is not going to help your case. If you weren't going to say anything, then you shouldn't have caught them over there, point blank, period. Just because you were posting pictures on Facebook about R.I.P. little cousin and everything else does not negate the fact that this young girl is dead. This death could have been prevented. This little girl, I can imagine the suffering that this little girl went through outside. It was cold. It was dark. 
She couldn't get into the house. She's probably too short to even reach the buzzer to buzz anybody in. I believe what happened is that Rachel was just being lazy as fuck. Let me just keep it 100. She was being lazy as fuck. When temperatures are that cold, you don't want to be bothered. So what happened is that after the little girl bought helped her bring the stuff down to her car, she didn't feel like getting out of her nice warm car to go walk the girl back up to her apartment and then come back outside into the cold and then jump back in her car. She was being lazy and neglectful. She just assumed that a six-year-old just slightly left the door ajar so she'd get back in. Most six-year-olds don't close anything slightly. I have a damn eight-year-old. He's always banging stuff and... Kids don't think like that. That's why they're kids. You're always supposed to check behind kids. You never assume anything, especially when it comes to a child who's only six years old. She should have got out of her car, held the little girl's hand, made sure that she walked right back in that apartment where she took her from. You don't just assume that a child went back in. And because of her being neglectful, because of this stupid daily mistake, this girl's looking at 10 years in prison. I'm sure she's heartbroken. I'm sure the family's heartbroken because at the end of the day, that's her little cousin. That's her family. And I mean, for the life of me, I know she didn't mean for that to happen. You know, I don't think this was, you know, her doing it on purpose or her not caring about the child. I think she was just being neglectful and lazy. Nothing more, nothing less. But that does not change the fact that this little girl is dead and she's never going to come back home and that this family is mourning her. You know, this whole situation is tragic. That's why I said, you know, as adults, we have to start using common sense. Dot all I's, cross all T's. I know it can be irritating. I know it can be frustrating. But you just have to do that because you can find yourself in a situation like this where, you know, you didn't mean for this child to die. But because she did die, now you're looking at 10 years in prison. So if people are watching this, make sure you follow up with children. Make sure that you call the parent. You let them know, hey, I changed my mind. I can't keep the kids. Something came up. Be more responsible. You know, at 22 years old, she knew better. If she wasn't going to keep the child, she should have let the child's mother know. She should have walked the child back into the house. This was just a real tragic situation that could have definitely been prevented. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation that's coming out of Maniac, Minnesota. All right, deuces.